Hello everyone, my name is Chef Herbert Holden from the Center for Nutrition, Diet and Health and I'm a project coordinator for SNAP Ed. I go all over Washington DC doing um, nutrition education, cooking demonstrations and uh, just trying to change eating behaviors one, one, with one fruit, one vegetable at a time. Today I'm going to demonstrate a simple soup, a butternut squash soup made with of course the butternut squash. Um, the ingredients is the butternut squash, I have yellow onion, I have fresh thyme, um, black pepper, olive oil, some garlic cloves, and I'm using a low sodium chicken stock today. Now let's talk about the squash is hard. The best way to get into this squash is to use a carrot peeler which I'm going to show you how easy it is to peel. Now if you have issues with your hands where you can't grip, you can't cut, you're scared to use a knife or what have you, they do have it already peeled and chopped for you in your produce section in the store. So they make it easy for you. So I don't want you to get discouraged by saying you because you can't grip a knife or um, you're scared to use a knife or you have other issues with your hands. So um, you know, you you know, you, there's other alternatives. So don't get discouraged if you can't use this way but they already have it peeled and cubed for you, okay? So now I'm gonna I'm turn my camera. You won't see me, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing, okay? Thank you. Now, it's easy to peel with a carrot peeler. Like I said, all you do is you're gonna peel it all the way around, all the way around. Just come down with the peel. Once you peel it, the flesh is soft that you can use to cut a knife. You can use it you can use a knife on it. So, so I'm just go all the way around. Alright, then I'm gonna make sure I come across the bottom and get the bottom part of it. And take your time to do this. You don't have to rush through this, okay? Then I'll do the same thing on the top side of it. I want to clean it up because I want to use as much of the squash that I can. Okay, now I'm going to move my peelings here. These you can actually use this in um, if you want to make your own vegetable stock. You actually can use these peelings into your stock pot to make your um, vegetable stock if you choose to. Now once you have it peeled, you see you have two ends. You have a small end and you have the fat end. You see these are at the bottom side. So I'll come across the top and the bottoms and just cut this part off. Discard this. You don't need this. Now I'm going to put my gloves on. I'm done with the peeling, so I'm going to use my put my gloves on. Now from this point, you just cut it. Now we're going to boil this down, and it doesn't take long for this soup to boil down to be soft enough. Now once I I'm going to cut it, make small dices, then I'm going to cut it in half again, and just make little small dices, little small cuts in it. Okay. Now I'm just going to drop all this into my pot, okay? Same thing with this one. Just going to drop this in. Now where the seeds are, you cut this in half, and you can see this is where your seeds are located. You take a spoon, and we're just going to scoop out the seeds. Just like if you was working with a melon, a uh, uh, cantaloupe or a honeydew, okay? Now you can roast your seeds if you choose to. So I scooped out the seeds in one and I'm going to scoop out the seeds in the other. Okay, now from that point on, once you get the seeds out, you do the same thing. We're just going to 
cut this in pieces because remember we're going to blend this all up once we um, once it cooks down okay now my soup is going to be on the healthier side because um, you know that's what I do promote healthy eating and I know you out there asking what do you mean by on the healthier side well if you buy this pre-made in grocery stores and if you buy this in the restaurant a lot of time it has cream in it nine times out of ten it's going to have cream in it and we don't want the unhealthy fat so we want the good fat from the the, the um, vegetable itself so we're going to eliminate the cream and keeping it healthy now I have um, I'm going to use my immersible blender here this is going to blend everything up and it's going to make it look like it's cream in it once it get done all right so we have our squash in I'm going to turn this on now I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil about two tablespoons of olive oil mm -hmm. then we're going to chop up our yellow onion and again it don't matter what size because we're going to blend everything up anyway okay? okay? and I'm just going to use a half of the onion I'm not going to use the whole onion because remember this is a butternut squash soup it's not an onion squash soup it's a butternut squash soup okay garlic I'm going to use three cloves of garlic and I'm just going to take it under my knife smash the garlic down to pull the peel off And again, we don't have to really chop this, we're smashing it to take the peel off and it's going to release some of the juice, but we're going to blend everything up so it doesn't matter um, the size of garlic that we add to this, okay? Alright. Got one more here. And you can use minced garlic if you choose to, so you don't have to use fresh garlic like I'm using okay and we're gonna drop in a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme and again we're gonna blend we're gonna grind everything up so what we're doing now is let me move this out the way here as I'm fusing all these flavors together I'm going to bring them all together as one, okay? My sprigs are kind of big here, so I have to be careful here with my time. Okay. And all we're doing, we're going to fuse these flavors together, okay? Now I'm going to go in with just a little bit of black pepper. Salt, I'm just going in with a pinch of salt. That's all I need. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera to you guys so you guys can actually see the inside. Uh, What's actually going on right now? So now I'm still I'm fusing everything together. That means I'm bringing all the flavors to one. So now I'm going to add my stock to this, okay? And when you add your stock, you just want to cover it. And I'm going to bring the camera so you can see. You just want to cover it with just just barely cover it with stock. But we're gonna blend it up and we want it too thick now, so at the end we'll thin it out and I'm gonna show you how to thin it out once it becomes once you finish and it's thick at the end, okay? So at this point, I put my lid on and we're gonna let this cook for about maybe 10 to 11 minutes, okay? 
Okay guys, it's been approximately about 11 to 12 minutes now. And as you can see, it is um, nice and soft and there's not a lot of liquid so it's going to be thick but I'm going to show you how to thin this out. So at this point we take our immersible blender here and we blend up everything. And this will blend up the stems of the, the um, fresh thyme and everything, okay? Okay, now as you can see how thick it is, now I'm going to thin this out by just adding a little stock to this. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin, but you just want a nice soup consistency, okay? Okay, I'm happy now with the thickness. Sorry about that, folks. Now, I'm going to bowl this up. But before I do that, I'm going to check this for seasons. Mm. I think it has enough um, salt in it for me. It's nice and savory. You got the sweetness of the um, squash itself that's in here. So it's a nice savory soup, perfect on a nice brisk day like it is outside today. And you can eat this with... Um, you know, with sandwiches or um, just by itself. So I'm for giving a little body inside. I'm gonna add a couple of uh, croutons in with mine. Okay. So there we have our butternut squash soup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration. You see how easy it was and how simple it was and it didn't take that much ingredients so have fun with this and don't forget to season it to your taste um, and you can you know make a big batch of this freeze it for winter time you know package it you know break it down how you're going to eat this and put it in your freezer so have fun and thank you again this is Chef Herbert Holden from the Center for Nutrition Diet and Health and I'm a project coordinator for Snap Ed thank you so much for watching